Okay, hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Why am I still wearing this and why am I not wearing that? You know what? I always keep forgetting. Let me let me change this because I just washed my hair. Let me change this to like a hair tie and get my ring and we can film this because I am gonna film a first impression of like a full face of first impressions because I have I think everything but a primer. So let me let me just some like fixy fixy and I'll be back in just a jiffy. Okay, ring is here and let's just get this up. Ugh. Just like I said, washed my hair and I still hate that, that this doesn't like, I'm still thinking about cutting off my hair again or if I'm gonna just like roll with it and let it grow out so I can get this up into the, because I love a high bun, but it's, this is not cooperating. Anyways, I am gonna do a full face of first impressions. Did you see my brother? Ooh. And I am gonna use a bunch of things that I've gotten both. Have I gotten all of this in PR? No, that is not true. I bought some of it. Have I? Yeah, I bought one of them at least. Or like, I got it from a friend though. You know what? I might have gotten all of this in PR. I don't, like, I'm on a low buy right now, so I'm not buying a lot of makeup, but lately I've been getting, I'm gonna start with primer, I'm using the Smashbox Primerizer, the Deluxe Sample, I'm halfway through this, I don't think that this is anything special. Same with the Professional by Benefit, I'm halfway through this, I do like this one though, but I don't know if I like it better than the other one that I'm using, another, like, pore filling primer. Uh, this one, it's okay, but I don't see the hype around this one. I don't think that this is better uh, than the one that I'm using for Pixie, the Rose Flash Bomb. But yeah, I have been getting quite a lot of PR lately, and I have don't have the opportunity to make separate videos about all of them, but I thought I'd do a first impression, like full face of first impressions, and I'll let you know how I feel about some of these things. And then I'll get back to you if there's any of them that I feel especially good or bad about. That's usually how I do my like reviews. My reviews are about things that I feel especially good about or especially bad about. Um, I try to mention the so-so products in between as well. My skin is not looking its best. I don't know if you can see it. It's that time of the month and my skin is for once kind of acting up. It usually isn't, but I do have some breakouts here on my chin and my skin is a bit like I have a bit more pores and it's a bit just a bit rough here. I also have a breakout here. Like here. Like who gets here? I've never gotten that before. But usually this like goes away in a couple of days, so not that concerned. I did get a foundation and that's what prompted me to even do this because I usually do not get foundations in PR but this is from Makeup Store and you have asked me to uh, show more of Makeup Store on my channel and it's been quite a while since I used them. Let me open these. I think that this is going to be too dark and I think that this is going to be too light. I'm happy that they sent me two of them. This is the Soft Touch. An easy to apply, velvety soft and oil controlling formula provides a natural looking and buildable medium coverage. See, this is what I want. Keeps skin hydrated, minimizes visibility of pores with an even long wearing and flawless finish. This is what I want. Medium coverage, natural finish. I'm all about that life. Let me get rid of the plastic. But I haven't really talked about makeup store. I haven't used makeup store in a really long time because I've always thought that they were a bit pricey. But they were a Swedish brand and I know that they're available in the different places around the world. I know they're available in Australia. I don't know about US, but I think you can buy them in US, but maybe not like Sephora or Ulta. I'm gonna mix a bit of both of these, but I haven't used them for so long and I just, I wanted to give them another chance because I judged makeup store based on how I felt about them in the past. And when I'm saying past, I mean maybe 15 years ago. And that's not fair, that's not fair. So I'm gonna use a bit of makeup store products today, a highlighter and these foundations, but I do have some other things as well. So if you wanna see more makeup store, let me know. I need to go wet my sponge. Maybe I should have washed it as well, but no time for that. But let me wet this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm mixing them a bit. It's a bit, bit of a thicker formula. You, I mean, if you have it on your hand, it's definitely not gonna like 
fall off. It's definitely a bit more of a creamy, thicker formula. So let me see how I like this. I'm starting with the first like light layer. It did say buildable. So let's see how I feel about this. I feel like when I mixed like 50-50, I got a good um, color. Let me tell you what these are. This is vanilla, the darker one, and the lighter one is cream. So those are the two shades that I mixed pretty much 50-50. Okay, so I would say that this is like one layer. And I think it looks... I think it looks good. I would say that this is probably a light to medium with just one thin layer, but I'm gonna try and build it up a bit and see if I can cover this part right here that has some breakouts. Okay, so I pretty much have used all of it now and I would say that the amount I took was maybe equivalent to like two pumps of product, like one of each, because it is a squeezy tube. And it did pretty much cover up this bit here. I can still see this one though, but that one also has a bit of like, it's a bit raised. So that's never gonna be entirely covered. Like you can cover color, but you can't cover texture pretty much. Jesus. Okay. So I must say I really like this. I feel like my skin has a very natural finish. It's not dewy, but it's not entirely matte. I'm looking in the viewfinder and that's not the best. Like my viewfinder, like my monitor isn't the best. I can see if I'm in focus, but I can't really see true colors in it. And it's a shame. But I feel like this is looking okay. I, I look, I feel like I look pretty and I look on my hand and it doesn't really show that it's oxidized really either. The one that's left, I'm gonna leave that for a bit and we can see if it does because I, I don't know. Uh, I also got a package from uh, the PR firm that handles uh, LA Girl in Sweden because LA Girl has just come to Sweden. Isn't there another one here? Yeah. And oh, they sent me some things and one thing that they sent me that I'm super excited about is the Pro Concealer. Pro Conceal. I have never tried this. I've tried the foundations. Oh, it's itching. And I really, really like both of the foundations that I've tried from LA Girl. So I'm really excited to try this one. I think I'm going to use a light one though because I really want to look highlighted. This is in porcelain. Let me get the plastic off. Never used this. Oh yeah, this is the one that has a bit of a brush. Let me see if I can get something up. Okay. Okay, I have something in the brush now. Let me see if I just... This could be a bit... Pink tone. I don't know how I feel about this brush though, but... It's not like I'm gonna be blending it out with this brush, that's for sure. But I guess just for painting it on, it's okay. And since this is lighter, I'm using it a bit to highlight as well. Okay, not too much, but a bit. I don't have a new powder though. That is true, so I'm gonna... Maybe I don't need to set it because I'm trying to use less powders because less powders does help a lot when you're getting into your 30s like I am trying to use as little powders as possible. So let's see if this is a, uh, like a concealer that you can get away with not setting. Blend it out really nice and I actually think that this color is pretty okay. This is not a full coverage concealer though, just so you know. I feel like that looks really nice. It ended up being like a more of a natural highlighted feeling, which is not a bad thing. I am gonna try and not set this. Let's see how that works out. Uh, I am, oh, I actually have a new eye primer as well. I should dig that one out and we can use it. Let me do my eyebrows. I know, I know, I know, I know people want to see an eyebrow tutorial, but I do have a brow tutorial. Uh, it's just embedded <laughs> in some of my get ready with me's and that's still how I do my brows. So if you want to see how I do my brows, you can search on my channel for it because I do have a brow tutorial. It's just within a like a get ready with me. So do you check that out? Coke Zero for life, hashtag not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> and I'm gonna do my brows and I'll come back and we'll do the eye primer and see if we need some powder, because maybe we don't. Okay, so the eyebrows are done and I'm gonna use 
this one. This is the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion. And this is in Eden. I did try all of them in store, like I swatched them on my hand to see how they felt. And I feel like this one that had a bit of a tint felt like the one I wanted to use the most. I haven't used this one yet. So let's use this and I'm kind of liking that it has a doe foot applicator actually. I'm still gonna like blend it out with my finger but I feel like I kind of like this. Okay, so that is on one eye and not the other, and I do see a bit of difference, but it's not totally cancelling out everything, but I kind of like that, because I still am going to go in with so much eyeshadow normally that it doesn't really matter, and if I'm not going to go in with that much eyeshadow, it means that I'm going for a more natural look, and then I kind of don't want everything to be blacked out, so that doesn't really concern me at all. Let me uh, do some on the other eye as well. I usually leave it for like a couple of minutes while I do other things and then I go in and I tap out the creases before going in with eyeshadow. That's how I do it, I don't set it. Because I don't want to set it before I go in with eyeshadow because like I want to set it with eyeshadow. Because for me that's the whole point with primers. I do feel like I need to set the concealer a bit because it doesn't, it doesn't really dry down on its own. Sometimes concealers dry down on their own like the shape tape. I don't have to set it as long as I put it on and then tap out the creases as I proceed with the makeup. It's gonna dry down and it's not gonna crease on me. That's how it works on me at least. So let me just tap out some creases and I'm gonna set it with a bit of powder uh, on the brush. Because if I touch it, I feel that it's still tacky and creamy and then I do need to set it. I'm gonna use a bit of powder. I'm just gonna set it a little bit, not too much. I also feel like the foundation is not totally settling down, so I'm just gonna use a finishing powder over and just get it to be, just set it down a little bit. And also keeping the glowiness, because this is a glowy finishing powder. Okay, time to use some, uh, ah, some other things. I did get sent some palettes by uh, LA Girl as well. Uh, the Smoky, the ultra which seems to be some purpley tones but i'm not going to be using those palettes today but i might be digging into one of these glam and glow blush collection glam and glow one of them seems to be like i'm guessing peach and pink I'm more about the peach life let me let me put this up. so this is called the glow has a bit of a tape. Let me let me open this one up. Okay, so this is what she looks like. There's some plastic here. Let me get rid of that one as well. So this is what she looks like. Oh, there's a mirror, but so thin. Like, what are you gonna do with this one? But this is what she looks like, and I think I'm gonna use this one as a bronzer, and I'm gonna use the lightest one as a blush. I'm not gonna use this one though, but I'm gonna swatch it, and we can see. It's a bit powdery, but I do think that this could be. Ah, it's not that glowy. Let's be honest. That is not that glowy. That would be more of a subtle highlight for sure. I do see some sheen on my finger, but that is not a very glowy. That's not a very glowy highlighter. But I do have another highlighter that I'm gonna use. So let me start with the bronzer. Am I picking up any? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that is pigmented for sure. Ooh, it did like where I put down my brush. It did like make a mark there. That is not ideal. Hmm. How do I feel about that color? Not horrible. I've had I've had worse. It does like stick to the initial placement though, so I'm trying to like go in a bit soft. Okay, let's see how this blushes. Hmm, I do see some of my brush. Hmm, I like that. That's cute. Oh, that's that's actually pretty pigmented. But not like scary pigmented because some blushes can be like <laughs> what? This is just like it's pigmented, but I'm not like freaking out over it. Let me see if I can put that to the side. I'm just going to blend this out with the powder brush that I used before. That's nice. I got two highlighters from Makeup Store. One that is more for like a, I would say a medium to maybe a deep skin tone. Although, let me swatch this. 
Yeah, I will say that this is not, this is more of a transparent base, so I think that I can get away with this in the summer. It's really pretty though, but I don't think that I am tan enough right now to use that one. And this is the North Star Duo, and this is in collaboration with Jimmy Star, which is a, a Switch YouTuber and Instagrammer, and I will leave him down below as well. I think that he did something cool, because he did a dark and a light in the same, and the thing is that you're supposed to mix them to get your perfect shade because this is probably too light for me and this is probably too dark for me so i'm excited to like mix and match them and see like how i can so i'm just gonna dip in and take a bit of both and like hmm. i think that's pretty does it show <laughs> I am basically just dipping like once here, once here, like just dipping in between. I'm just gonna take a bit of the lightest and just put it on the top of my cheekbones. I think that that was pretty okay. Looks looks nice in real life at least. Hmm? Let me. It is not like the shiniest highlighter I've ever seen, but it does give that nice, more neutral highlighter that I have been kind of into lately, so I'm not mad at that at all. Now what we're gonna do, how does the under eyes look? It's a bit creasy actually, even though I set it with a bit of powder. Maybe this, yeah, this concealer is way, way too creamy for my liking. I'm actually gonna go in with a bit more powder. I don't like when concealers are this creamy. I know that people are like, oh, it's hydrating, it's good for your under eyes. It will make you crease so bad and it will make you have to use even more powder for it to not crease and that's just gonna age you. And I know I'm not the norm, but when I'm saying like, I think that the, like something like shape tape is better because you don't have to use as much powder to set it. This one, now I have to go in with even more powder and it's gonna make me age a bit. So. I don't know, I'm not all about that kind of formula. Okay, let's just tap out the creases on the eye primer before we go in with the eyeshadow. This is actually feeling a bit more uh, tacky than the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette, if I can grab it. Come here, come here. I'm gonna use this one, the Nomad uh, Until palette. I got this sent to me from Georgia Harris when we did an exchange. And this is one of the few things in the exchange that I haven't used and I don't know why. But I just wanted to do a separate video on it and then I never had the time. So I'm gonna use it now in the first impression and we can see how I feel about it. it has, I have swatched this and we have, <laughs> we have swatches on my Instagram of this palette and there is only one true matte or maybe this is, I don't know, but I think that this Seven Mile Beach is the only true matte in this palette. I think that like Grace Bay and Happy Island and maybe even Secret now, Secret Harbor seems a bit more. Like some of these are like satins and you could probably use them in your, um, in your crease and to be honest you can use anything in your crease but i think that this one seven mile beach is the only one that's like a true true matte so i am gonna use that one i'm gonna move some things and i'm gonna use that one in my crease and we can see how i feel about it and i'm very excited about it actually me i'm gonna use this brush from um kaleidos cosmetics this is the d08 i really have been liking those brushes uh, apparently i used some some pink with this before I think I cleaned most of it out, it's just a bit stained, which is the negative with like white, white brushes. Did pick up a lot of product, let's just go in and see how we feel. It's pigmented, but it's a bit more of a pastel orange, which is very summery though, I'm not mad about that at all. It has a bit more of a, not such a yellow undertone, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like it blends out really nice though. That is a nice crease. It's a shame we don't have anything to really deepen it up with though. On the other hand, this is a very nice summer look, so... I feel like this is the perfect palette to bring on like a vacation to the sun and you can have all of those pretty colorful looks um, that go so well with somewhat of a sun-kissed <laughs> skin pretty. I really do like this crease, but I want it to be a bit darker before going in with some other shadows. So I'm actually going to use some of my Divina singles. I think I'm going to use... 
I think I am gonna, what am I gonna use? I think I'm gonna use this one. This is uh, Lucretia, and I think I'm gonna use this one that is uh, Ilithia. Just a bit more like deepen it up with some corals and some reds before we move on. I just deepen it up like this. You can see it's not that dark, it's just a bit more defined. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye as well. I'll go back to this palette again, and I wanna use this one so much. It's called El Floridita. El, Fl El Floridita. I'm so sorry. El, El Floridita. That's probably not correct either. I'm gonna use that, I think, pretty much on all of my lid. And I'm gonna use something else under my eyes, and maybe I'll try and use that yellow one in the inner corners. That's my plan. I'm gonna spray this one though, just to be sure. Because it seems a bit powdery when I pick it up with the brush, so I think I'm gonna have to spray it to make it um, not have a lot of fallout on my eyes. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is exactly what I was after. Wow. That is very, very pretty, but it was very powdery, so I don't think you'll like that one if you don't use like a setting spray or your finger or a glitter, glitter glue. <laughs> but I liked it, but it was a bit hard. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So I think, since I am wearing like blue, but I just did blue. You know what, I'm gonna do purple. I'll do the dark purple and then the light purple, and then I wanna use the yellow in the inner corners, but I think I think I'm gonna use it over an eye pencil because that's usually how I do it when I do like yellows in the inner corner to make them really pop. Okay, I'm gonna use this one, the Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil in M40. Ooh, that one needs to be sharpened though. Let me fix that and I'm gonna use that both in my waterline and in my inner corners so that I can put the yellow in my inner corners over it. I'm just gonna tap on this a bit just with the pencil brush before I even go in with the yellow just to blend it a little. Then I'm taking this one, it's called Happy Island, which is that like light yellow one look like that and let's just wow <laughs> tap that over because with that pencil it's given a bit of base to just stick onto and then you can just blend the edges okay that is very pigmented but isn't that kind of why we're here so yeah i think that's the finished look actually i'm gonna do I'm gonna do a bit of mascara and liner because I don't have anything new to show you and um, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like before I put the lashes on because I do have some new lashes to try and I'm super excited because I've been wanting to try these for so long. Okay, so the mascara and liner is on and I remembered that I actually have these. <laughs> These Wet n Wild colored mascaras. I had a beautiful subscriber send me a box before I went on my low buy and it's been held up in like postal services and all of that stuff uh, for a really long time. But she sent me a mail before I went on my low buy and she said that she had like the other previous one. I think I mentioned this, that there were two people who sent me mail saying that they had already bought me the things. And usually I say no to everyone who wants to send me things because I can buy my own makeup, please spend your money on yourself. If you have any extra money, spend it on yourself or someone close to you, like treat yourself. Because I can afford to buy my own makeup, but I am so grateful for the things that you sent me. They were absolutely amazing. Like Pamela sent me some books as well, which is so exciting because I love to read. So thank you for your amazing and thoughtful, thoughtful package. I really did love it. And just so you know that I'm not breaking like my low buy rules because this was before I went on a low buy. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to use one of the things that she sent to me. And this is so exciting because we don't really get Wet n Wild in Sweden. We only get the basics and we get them so late here. These are colored mascara, color blast colored mascaras. And I thought that this is perfect. I can use the purple one on my lower lashes. So excited. I love a good colored mascara. Yeah. 
I mean, I used to have two from H&M Beauty that I really, really like. This is a great color, but they went old, like obviously, but I used to really love those for my lower lashes. Let's see. This is one layer and I think it's really pretty. I'm just gonna go in with another layer because I don't really mind if it's a bit clumpy or spidery when I'm having colored lashes on my lower lash line because I just really want it to, you know, pop. It really matches the eyeshadow. I think that that is really, really cute. Let me put on a lipstick before I, before I finish this one up because I was sent from Wee Makeup and I had never gotten any PR from them before. You know, I bought two palettes from Wee Makeup myself and I reviewed them on my channel and I really like the quality of the eyeshadows and they sent me three liquid lipsticks from their new collection. Let me see if I can open these boxes up. Maybe I can even throw the boxes away because I don't need to keep the boxes. Or maybe when I haul them. Maybe I'll just do it like this. I'm failing. So this is what the colors look like. You can see that there are two nudes and one darker. I did show these on my Instagram. Uh, I always show everything that I receive uh, on my Instagram, even if I'm not showing it on my YouTube, just to get like a feel for what I'm actually having in my collection. I feel like these are very liquidy in formula. I haven't worn them on my lips yet. Obviously, it's a first impression. This one swatched slightly streaky. Uh, the darker one, the one that's 41, but that could be... Like that could just use another layer on the lips. Usually that fixes streakiness for like at least most of the ones that swatch a bit streaky. But both of these lighter colors swashed really evenly. Very liquidy formula. I'm gonna use the one that's a bit more of, uh, this one is more of a pinky nude and the other one was like a blood red, not like a, not like more like dried blood. Wow, that is, that is gruesome, but yeah. That's the color of it. And this is number 14 and it's more of a, um, like a brown brown, like a neutral brown. Now I wanna say cool tone because I don't think it leans cool tone, but maybe with this look, it's gonna look a bit cool tone. But I think that that is nice because I love a neutral lip that doesn't have a pink undertone. That is my new thing. <laughs> That's my new thing. So this was number 14. Did I say that? Now I did again. They smell absolutely lovely. They smell like cupcake batter. So vanilla and beautiful. And like, do you see how even that went on? Seems like a beautiful formula. I'm gonna try them on and I'll see how I feel. I'll come back and review them in a bit because this is the first time I'm using We Makeup lipsticks. Let me put these on and put the lashes on and fix my hair and I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look and I'm really loving these lashes, I have to say. Did I say which ones they were? They were the new Midnight Luxe by House of Lashes. They released a Luxe collection and I really like these. These are like the Iconics, they are flared, but they are not that crisscrossy thing. They are more like spiked, but I love that. And I love this kind of very structured lashes. Uh, I know a lot of people love the really, you know, crisscrossy lashes, the ones that look more natural, like a lash, lash extension. And I love those sometimes not when they're too flimsy because I just they're not the look that I'm after this is more the kind of look that I'm after when it comes to false lashes but I really enjoy those as well and I must say the foundation is looking really nice it's looking very skin like I'm using quotation marks because I mean it's obviously not looking like skin skin uh, but it's not looking like a full coverage either I can see some structures I can see like my birth like my the beauty spots, that's what it's called, my beauty spots here. I can see like my skin underneath, it's just looking a lot more even and healthy and I kind of like that. Uh, I like the bronzer, it looks really nice, the highlighter and blush, it looks nice. It's like a glowy, glowy cheek but not like beaming, which is what I've been after lately, let's be honest. The eyeshadow is looking very pretty. I will say that the palette, the palette is beautiful but the shimmers uh, are a bit powdery, which makes you need to use a glitter glue or a setting spray or uh, your finger. Uh, not all people love that, but once you do that, it does look really pretty. I did use some other colors to deepen it up though, and that's just my preference, but I like deepening up a look a bit. If you don't like that, you could probably use this palette on its own. It only has one true matte though, but I will say that this purple that I used under my eyes could probably be used as a matte because it, it doesn't show any sparkle. Oh, 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 what is this? 
Hmm. It doesn't show any sparkle now like that I look at it under my eyes. So you could probably use a bunch of these satins as mattes to be honest. But yeah, I liked it. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite format. But I love the color scheme and I feel like this is such a fun palette and I, I love that. It's, it's a summery palette even though we're not in summer. The color mascara is looking really, really pretty. And I like having a like a lower lash mascara that matches the lower lash, like the lower under eye area with eyeshadow. I'm confusing myself. The lipstick did go a bit darker than I thought when I looked at it in the tube. Or maybe I'm just totally mistaken and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe not. It's in a frosted, it's a frosted tube. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It feels nice on the lips. It's like... It's kiss proof. That is not from this. It is kiss proof. There's nothing coming off, but it it doesn't feel like it's totally like it doesn't have that powdery drying feeling. So it's pretty comfortable to be honest. It's pretty comfortable and I only went in with one layer and I feel like it doesn't look patchy, right? So all in all, I think that this was a hit. Ooh, I have one more thing I want to use. Because I did receive another PR package by Gerard Cosmetics and I got one of these hydrating facial mist. It's called Mystify. It's their, it's their setting spray but a more glowy version. I haven't used this and I'm so excited to use it. This one has a bit more of an aggressive sprayer than the other ones. Look, it like leaves dots on my skin and other sprays don't have that. Why does this one have that? Can you see? It's a bit more aggressive than the other ones. I don't have that problem with the other sprayers. Maybe it's the like the mini ones that are like that. I mean, that's not ideal, but I don't have that problem with the bigger bottles. I think that those have a great sprayer. I'm gonna have to try those a bit more. I did get some other ones in like a smaller spray bottle as well. I'm gonna see if it's the same with all of the small ones or if it's just this one. So I'll get back to you on that one, but I did pat it out a bit and my makeup does look really nice. So yeah. They really smell nice. I'm gonna see if this is just this one or if it's all of them because I'm a bit confused because it has such a good sprayer on the big ones. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that was the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know if there's any of these that you would want like an additional review on. I will get back to you if I change my mind about any of these products, obviously. But that was everything for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I do upload. I'm aiming for four to five videos a week. Lately, it's been six let's be honest <laughs> planning not my thing but yeah this video is done thank you for being here and i'll see you in my next video bye